Hi everyone, this is Miss Alyssa here, and I just wanted to share with you some different fine motor and visual motor activities that you can do at home. So the first activity, you'll need a hard plastic cup um, that has a, a lid on that you can unscrew and then just a small hole in the top. Most of these cups come with a straw already in them. Feel free to just take those out. And then you'll also need just a few regular plastic straws. You'll cut those plastic straws into different lengths. So some can be shorter, some can be a little taller. And then you're going to go ahead and place one at a time the straws into the small hole of the cup. The next activity I wanted to share with you is very similar. Um, I have a water bottle like this one um, because it has a hole that's slightly bigger. And then you'll need popsicle sticks. So same idea, you'll go ahead and place each popsicle stick into the small hole of the cup, just like that. The next activity, you'll need a pasta strainer. And then you will need pipe cleaners if you have them at home. And then you'll take the pipe cleaners, you'll put them into the holes of the pasta strainer, just like that. And then you can also use the cut up straws that you just made. And you can also slip those right up top over the pipe cleaners. So that's another activity that you can do at home. The next two activities that I want to share with you are really focusing on hand strengthening. So you'll need just a regular cup. And if you have some pom-poms at home, feel free to use those, or you could just use cotton balls. And then you'll also need a chip clip or a clothespin. So one at a time, you'll pick up the pom-poms and then put them in the cup. Same thing with the clothespin, one at a time and put them in the cup. And then the last activity that I want to share with you is a lot of fun. Most of my kiddos really love this one. You will need a tennis ball. So if you have a tennis ball lying around at home, feel free to use that. So then you'll make a slit about like two inches into the tennis ball uh, to create an opening. So when you squeeze, it becomes open. And then you can also draw a silly face on there as well. And then you'll use those pom-poms or cotton balls that you already have. You'll squeeze it open and then one at a time, place them in there. And that completes the activities that I wanted to share with you today. I hope you guys have a lot of fun. Thank you.